Hey guys, so this tutorial is basically going to be on how to get these really cute camouflage nails. And um, I decided to do this just because I do not have a tutorial tutorial yet on anything. And this, um, I'm currently reading the second book of The Hunger Games. So this nail design really reminded me of it. So um, it's really simple, really easy. No tools are needed. So if you guys want to see how to do it, then let's get started. So the very first thing is, let me push the camera back just a little bit. First thing is you're going to use a top coat or a base coat to protect your natural nail. And you are going to, here let me see if I could get my nails in here. There we go. You are just going to paint on a really thin layer of it. This is just going to prevent your nails from getting stained because some nail polishes can stain your nails. And then we are going to take a light green, and I'm just using this green, and it is in Daffodil by Nicole o by OPI. And I am just going to paint on um, just a really thin layer. Now this color is not pigmented at all, but that is okay. We just need like two coats, that's it. There we go. So it looks like this. It's just what it looks like. It's just a really nice um, light green and daffodil and this is what we're going to try to get so try to compare that um, so the very first thing that we will do is we are going to take this brown and this is like a really kind of gross brown and this is in the Hunger Games collection and this is called Mahogany Magic and we're just going to get a very little onto the brush because this color is like it's like so liquidy just like that and what we're going to do is we're going to dot in random spots you want to dot them on because you want it to look like camouflage. And you're going to do three spots on each nail. And the reason why we're dotting it is because you want it to make it look like camouflage. Maybe we'll do four right here. Okay. Larger than every nail. And dotting it on really gets the really um, not natural dot effect. It just gets like random shapes everywhere. And that is actually what we want. I don't want much on the brush at all. You just kind of, you know, swirl it up so it looks like, you know, that. And then I, what I'm going to do is, let me get it so you guys can see. I'm just going to do random dots that are not normal, just random dots. I usually do three on each nail. And I'm going to take more and do it on the rest of my nails. I'll try to do it fast. And you could, it takes probably like five minutes if you're not doing a tutorial like I am. Um, this tutorial will probably end up being five minutes, but because all you have to do is dot it on. Like if you're rushing out the door and you want your nails done, this is perfect. Well, if you don't want camel, then I don't know what to tell you, but um, yeah. So, and you want to kind of connect it with the brown. Just don't overlap it onto the brown. So it looks like that. And then I'm going to take a black, and this is just black on black by Sinful Colors. Oh, and the other, the Hunger Games Nail Polish Collection is in China Glaze, which I think everybody knows that. But And then you just want to do small, slightly smaller dots just because it's black. I don't really like black on my nails, so that's why I'm doing slightly smaller dots. And just the same thing, just random dots all around. And you do not want to cover all the light green. If you did it like me, where they're more spaced out, you know, kind of will look a little better. Okay, I'm just going to get more because I kind of took off a little bit of the green. Just, once again, just random dotting, you know, nothing really um, major, just easy, simple. And the reason why I'm doing this is, while my camera really stinks, I need to get a new camera. If you guys know what a good camera is, comment that down below. Um, and yeah, so that's why I really haven't done any tutorials. Okay, now that we've got that all done, my thumb was already done, um, just so I could show you what it kind of looked like. And we are going to take a base coat and put that on, because just because a base coat is matte, and you kind of want it to be a matte finish. You don't want it to be um, a shiny finish, just because it is um, camouflage. So I hope you guys really liked that um, tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!